Cosmos Maxis. Let's have a conversation. Good Musician, morning. composer, conductor. Here we go. Um, <laughs> was music always part of your life? And uh, do you come from a musical family? And who played a major role in developing your interest or your passion for mm. music? Yes, music has been part of my life um, from the beginning. I've got photographs as a child in Greece before we actually migrated to Australia back in the early 50s, very early 50s, and I'm with a harmonica, with a guitar, and a little aeroplane. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, my father played the guitar, he also chanted in uh, the Greek church. Uh, coming to Australia, he didn't, he didn't continue, but uh, he went straight into hard work. And uh, music became part as a I wanting to learn more when I went to the private school at St. At Daceville, St. Michael's. That's my first uh, introduction with music, really. Uh, it was compulsory to go through an audition. The, the headmaster loved choirs. So I went through an audition, got into the choir, and slowly from a chorist, I became a soloist. And uh, one beautiful Saturday uh, morning, uh, there's... Uh, Brother Silverius, he's the, I mean, the man I'll never forget. He was the one who started it all, really. Knocked on the door of the house and, uh, you know, parents got a shot because they didn't speak English uh, very well. And yeah, they okay, took him inside, gave him tea, etc. And then he turned around and said, you know, your child's got musical talent and he should pursue music. And that's how it started. Brother Silverius was the, yeah, the guy who did, started it all. And then well, from then I went to the conservatorium and just continued. I've got a big surprise for you. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, so I here, here, here's a photograph. Oh. <laughs> Collard Aids 1965? 64, 65. Oh my goodness. The Athenian Quartet. <laughs> now, can you tell us a little bit about what the live scene in Sydney was like then? Oh my goodness, I'm just out of school there, high school, and um, I'd already done what, about six or seven years of piano and um, met these guys and they said, oh, why don't you come and join us down at the Colonnades, a beautiful restaurant back in George Street in the Strand Arcade. I don't know, don't know if it's there anymore. And um, I mean, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't up that scene at all. Um, there is a grand piano in the background. I mean, where? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I played piano <laughs> with them. That's right. That was my, my first gig. <laughs> okay, so... I'm talking about eight, age of 18, yeah. Now, you've studied the Conservatorium of Music in Sydney, yeah. you, and the Conservatorium of Santa Cecilia yeah, right. in Rome, and the Hellenic Conservatorium in Athens. How important is education and training at such a high level in shaping your music, musical career? Oh, absolutely. It gives you the tools, okay? Um, being, being a creator, I mean, I, I like writing. Um, it certainly gives me foundations and uh, easy access, okay? You see and you hear what others have done and you continue from there on. Uh, there on. That's the basics, I think, for, for any education. To take what you've already, you can absorb from others, great pe people be before you, and then hopefully, I mean, if you've, you have the talent and the, the hard work, certainly a lot of hard work, uh, you're able to progress. And hopefully leave a, a little stigma in, you know, in the history of in music, in my case. Yeah, it's one thing to compose and play music, mm. but another thing to become a conductor. Yeah. Now, what inspired you to make that transition from being a composer and a player of music to a conductor? I'm not a conductor, so I mean, I don't, I, I, yes, I have conducted other people's music, but major, uh, the, the majority of times, the, the concerts that I give, I conduct myself. I do my own conduct my own material. Um, it's just a, an extension of, of what I do. Is it natural? For me it is. For me it is. I remember as a young child in my first lessons where I'd have folks at home, friends at home, playing the guitar or the accordion and I'd be the leader, right? I'm 18 and they're 25 and 30 year olds, right? And I'm telling them play C major, play G7 or whatever, right? So I've always had that, um, uh, the desire to lead. And I think from, from what I hear from my surrounds, with the people that I've worked, I'm not too bad. 
Now, what's a day in the life of Thermos Maxis? What's it like? Oh, my God. Uh, depends what time I go to sleep. I'm up within uh, four or five hours after that. And I'm basically either at the piano wow. or in front of the desk for um, 18 out of the 20 hour, 24 hours. And my wife sometimes brings me lunch down the edge. And that's our only communication with the whole day. Until the morning and then breakfast next day. That's it. That's, and yeah, I love what I do. The thing is to have passion in, in what you do. Uh, for me, it's not work. All right? Although it's been my survival way, the way that I've been able to, to raise a family using, through music and, of course, with the assistance of my wife, definitely. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Now, tell us about the National Metropolitan Choir of Australia. Right. How did it come about? What, what are its objectives? Where is it going? Mm. Okay, this is something that I wanted to do many, many years ago, and I've spoken to a lot of people about it. That it's a shame that Australia, or Sydney in particular, hasn't had the opportunity um, to, to, to form something like this. Um, I mean, the, the beauty is now that I got a message from Father Stephen of Kingsley, Scotus, uh, while I was in Greece, and he said, His Eminence, our new Archbishop would like to see you. Uh, I was in Greece at the time, so on arrival, right up, uh, at the beginning of COVID, in March of uh, last year, after we did our lockdown, I had a meeting with His Eminence, and he came up with a proposal that he would like to form a new choir. And he said, would you like, may you, or can you? I said, it's a great honour, thank you very much. Um, the objective is, his objective is to bring people closer to the church and he said there's no better way than through music okay one of the best ways brother one of the best ways is through music and i said i'm not involved with classical uh, with uh, the church music i uh, in western uh, is that that's what i want so will you can you absolutely so that's the the main idea is to bring people young people especially young people to the to the church through through music not necessarily uh, ecclesiastic music, okay? And also, our first major event for the choir to be for the 30th anniversary of the enthronement of uh, His All Holiness Bartholomew, our Patriarch, which was going to happen in Constantinople, right? But the whole thing would have happened there. But unfortunately, COVID is, like everything else, has put uh, a huge... Stop and, and how can it's happening here? So it's oh. happening here. Oh. We're going to do it here. Yeah, we're going to do it. We've already booked for the uh, Sydney Town Hall. Okay, so the 26th of November, which is a Friday, um, it'll be comprised of a, a big symphony orchestra, the choir, which hopefully I will have over 80 people. Okay, um, and may I say, just to put in the plug, that we are rehearsing every Wednesday and Thursday except now for Holy Week, um, at uh, 7.30 at the Hall of the Saint Spirit and Church in Kingsford. Okay, so it's underneath, 7.30, um, and then it goes for about a couple of hours. So every Wednesday and Thursday. And who do people contact to become part of it? Well, you can get onto the website, which is www.nmca, National Metropolitan Choir of Australia, .org.au, or you can for, call Father Stephen, right? Or my wife, I haven't got a friend, I can't remember it off by hand. It's usually, you know, yet older than, and just press a button. Um, yeah. Oh, call me, Thermos Maxis. Yeah, you can find me. Thermos Maxis, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the conversation. Thank we'll, you, we'll, we'll let you get back to work. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, it's a great break. Thank you very much. Yes.